week, Seattle is divided over the search for a new police chief. But really, policing has always been a topic of controversy in the city. So much so that seven years ago, the federal government essentially took over the Seattle Police Department amid accusations that officers were biased against people of color and too often used excessive force. The feds came here because of anger and outrage from community members who said the police department could no longer be trusted to run itself. Let's be clear, there would have been no investigation seven years ago had members of the community not demanded it. And now, fast forward to 2018. After years of reform, of changing everything from how officers are trained to how they're disciplined, a federal judge has ruled that SPD is ready to move forward, that it is ready to run itself again. And for the first time in seven years, something remarkable has happened. Those same community members who called for reform have found themselves in agreement with the very officers they felt they could not trust. They agree on one thing who they think should lead the Seattle Police Department into its next chapter. And it's this woman here, Carmen Best, a 26-year veteran of SPD. Good afternoon, she is everybody. serving as the acting police chief until a new chief is hired. But make no mistake, Carmen Best wanted the permanent job. She fought for it, and many believe she deserved it. In the end, a search committee, but mostly a small group of people selected by the mayor, decided she wasn't right for the job. Former Mayor Tim Burgess, who had a hand in that decision, explained the choice in this way. At the end of the day, I think we focused on uh, who we thought had the leadership capabilities and the ability to continue to change the culture of the police department. And we concluded that someone from outside the police department would be best able to do that. Someone from the outside. The whole point of reforming the Seattle Police Department seven years ago was to rebuild it from the inside, was to get it to a point where it could run itself. And now after all those years, community members say there is finally someone from the inside, Carmen Best, who they trust. Have we really forgotten why we went through all of this reform, all of this effort? Have we really forgotten who that was done for? Who demanded it? It was the community. This city cared so much about what those community members had to say seven years ago. But what about now? Isn't this the point we all wanted to get to? One of the most divisive issues in America, policing. And cops in the community in Seattle have finally found something they agree on, or in this case, someone. How much do their voices actually matter?